Good afternoon. This is Pastor Carl with your weekly update for St. Peter's United Methodist Church for Friday, November the 19th, 2021. It's good to be able to bring you these weekly updates every Friday. I hope that you do find these to be helpful for you as we talk about our life together as a faith community. As I do each week, I'm inviting you to come and worship with us this coming Sunday morning. We have two worship services. We have our traditional service at 8.30. We have our blended worship service at 11 o'clock. And of course, we have Sunday school that meets in between the two at 9.45. We hope you'll come out um, and be a part of this family that gets together to worship God and grow together on Sunday mornings. A couple of other things coming up on the church calendar is we're getting ready to enter into Advent here very quickly. Um, you know, next Thursday is Thanksgiving, and the Sunday after that is the first Sunday of Advent. So Christmas is coming. It's coming quickly. We have a couple of ways that you can uh, help to get into that spirit, the holiday spirit, as we go through Advent. One of these is a free concert here at the church on Saturday, December the 4th. It will happen at three o'clock and it is going to be a Christmas concert given by Eric Horner. We hope you'll make plans to attend. We hope you'll invite somebody to join you, but we'll have more information coming out about that concert as the date comes closer. Also on Saturday, December the 11th, Moorhead City is having their annual Christmas parade and we will, St. Peter's will be uh, entering that parade. We have a float we're gonna uh, use that day. We hope that you'll be a part of that. Um, if you want to be involved in our uh, Christmas parade float, please call the church and we'll make sure to get you signed up. Or there's also a sign up sheet in the narthex if you'd like to be a part of that. I want to share with you this afternoon a short reading from the book of Jeremiah. This is one of my favorite passages in the Bible. This comes from the call of Jeremiah. It's the first chapter beginning with verse five. Actually, all we're going to read is verse five, where the Lord said to Jeremiah, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. What does it mean to be a prophet? To be a prophet is to share a word from God to somebody else. A prophet is somebody who speaks a particular word of God to a particular person or group of people at a particular place or a particular time. Um, and you don't have to be a pastor to be a prophet. You don't have to be a Sunday school teacher to be a prophet. You don't have to be a theologian to be a prophet. You can be anybody who follows God, believes in God, and shares with others about God's love and mercy. Would you think of somebody like the former NBA star Magic Johnson as a prophet. Well, that's what God created him for, to be a prophet, to share God's word with people at a particular place and time. And on, I believe it was November the 7th, uh, was the 30th anniversary of when Magic Johnson announced that he was HIV positive and that he was going to be retiring from the NBA. And he marked that anniversary this year by sharing a couple of tweets. And I'd like to read those. He tweeted out, God has really blessed me. Today marks 30 years living with HIV. So the message resonated with me in such a tremendous way. I thank the Lord for keeping me, giving me strength, and guiding me for 62 years, but especially the last 30. And then he tweeted, through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus and I learned to trust in God. That's from a song that we sing here periodically in worship. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all. And isn't it wonderful to see somebody who is in a, um, in a position of celebrity, if you will, like Magic Johnson, who's not afraid to stand up and say, this is what I believe. God has helped me. Jesus has helped me. 
Folks, we can do that everywhere we go, every single day. We can share with anybody and everybody. This is what God has done for me. People need to hear that word. People need to hear that no matter what, there is always hope. And who better to share that message with them than one of us, one of you, who has recognized that hope for yourself. So go tell somebody about Jesus today. Tell them about what God has done in your life and invite them to come and see what God can do in theirs. I hope to see you Sunday morning. And remember, as always, I am praying for you.